A very big hi to all. This is Mithila from English House. Today we are going to deal with some business English. We are going to deal with some business English. Often we all know English. But we are going to be polite and formal in English. Let's see. First word is Excuse me. We are going to use a phrase Excuse me. We are going to be unique in Excuse me. Sorry for interrupting. Sorry for interrupting. Interrupting is not a good thing. So that is the first way of saying excuse me. The second way is, may I have a word with you? May I have a word with you? Can I talk to you something? Can I talk to you about something? And then, may I have a word with you? And our second very commonly used phrase is, can you repeat it? One more time, repeat it. And then, we will say a little bit politely. Pardon, can you kindly repeat that? Pardon means sorry. So, pardon, can you kindly repeat that? This is the first way. The second way is, sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Which means, So, these are some of the ways on how to say, can you repeat it? Let's get to the third one. When you agree with somebody on their point or decision, how to say it? Let's see. The first way is, there you are, I completely agree with you. There you are, I completely agree with you. Another way of saying it is, exactly, you got that. Exactly, you got that. So these are some of the ways on how to agree with somebody. In a disagreement dialogue, somebody said some point and you completely disagree with that. Sorry, I don't think I agree with you. Sorry, I don't think I agree with you. This is polite. And the second way is, I'm afraid I have a different opinion. I'm afraid I have a different opinion on that. So these are the ways to say I disagree with you. I hope you found it interesting, at the same time useful. In the business space or in the workspace, please try to make some innovations by using these phrases. With that, I conclude today's video. Bye.